Now let's look at the Bluetooth functionality in the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc phone. I'd like to state straight away that I'm not sure if this Bluetooth is designed specifically by Sony Ericsson or if it's part of the Android operating system. I'm not sure what the split is between what Android provides and what Sony Ericsson must design on their own. I'm going to walk you through two use cases which are the most common use cases for Bluetooth usage as far as I know. One of them is to share a, a file, a picture or similar over Bluetooth with another phone or another device. And the other one will be to connect a Bluetooth headset. Let's take the image sharing functionality first. I'll find an image. So here's an image. I press list down here, press share, and I press Bluetooth. Fairly simple. Now I'm scanning for devices. These are devices that are in the vicinity of this phone. And I press pair with this device. I get this sending file down here which disappears fairly quickly. And then at the other phone I get a Bluetooth pairing request. Uh, so yeah, I wish to pair. And again I get the same request here. Is it showing this passkey? Yes it is. Pairing, pairing. Now I get this one on the other phone. Xperia Arc is requesting permission to connect to this phone to transfer contacts. I decline that. And now I can see down here that the Xperia Arc is pairing. And nothing is happening. So it seems like it's pretty difficult to transfer an image over Bluetooth by using the Xperia Arc. Now let me walk you through some of the mistakes here. So mistake number one, when I go in under more, I press find Bluetooth, it's all very simple. But what I wish to do here is to send an image. Bluetooth is a fairly advanced technology. It has 21 or 23 different profiles and each of them gives the connecting device access to a number of things. You can have a Bluetooth FTP connection, you can have a Bluetooth pairing which is roughly a kind of secure connection which gives you options for automatic reconnections. Um, you can have other profiles as well and honestly the user is better off not knowing anything about this. One of the things you can do without a pairing is to send an image. And as you saw before I had to pair the two devices in order to send an image. Now this design of Bluetooth doesn't give me any other options than sending images between phones. It doesn't open up an FTP connection. It doesn't give me anything else than now you're connected. So in order to receive a file a pairing is not necessary. So why should I pair here? It does say that it's just sending the file. But then I get the pairing request over here on the other phone. This is already superfluous. I don't need to pair. I get these two ones. Pair, pair. But then I get this one. Xperia Arc is requesting permission to connect to this phone to transfer contacts. I never asked for this. I don't want to transfer contacts. I want to transfer an image. And it's possible to transfer an image without pairing, without anything else than just a connection and a file that is sent. It should be possible to have this image to go down and say share via Bluetooth to find the device and to simply say send image. This is called the Bluetooth device picker. It means that I go into the Bluetooth menu. I don't have a special sequence of screens that I'm taken through in order to go through this special use case. I'm thrown in to the Bluetooth menu itself which is halting for the usability of this design. What I wish is to be able to go here and say send picture, I send the picture and no and then it says sending files, fair enough and then on the other one I should have not this one please confirm that you want to pair but just do you wish to receive this file. I don't understand why I need to pair to do this. It's superfluous, it's technical and it shows a lack of understanding for the use case that is to send an image. 
Now let's see if it's better if I just try to connect to a headset. Now let's see, I have a headset here, it's a Nokia headset, and it is in pairing mode. That's why the blue light is blinking. So I go into settings, I go into wireless networks, I go into Bluetooth settings, I scan for devices, and I find this, my device here. Now, I want to pair with a headset. And if you go out there and ask a thousand users, 10 of them, 20 of them, of the average users will know what a pairing is and why it's necessary. So why doesn't it just say connect? If I wish to pair with this device, it's actually very clever. And you can see it's very quick. Let's do that again. I'll just remove this. And set the headset to pairing mode. It says pairing, connecting, and now I'm connected. And this is very clever because what Android or Sony Ericsson is doing here is that they try with the normal headset default code, which is 0000 or 12345 or 1234. The technology is hidden for me. I don't see that this code is sent anywhere. I don't need to confirm anything on, on two screens or similar. It's very quick and it's very clever. And if my headset is switched on, it automatically connects to the phone straight away. So let's say I receive a call and then I simply turn on my headset and it'll be connected straight away instead of having to find this during the call and having to ask the person who called me to wait for a minute while I set up my Bluetooth or something. And a pairing gives you the opportunities for automatically connections. Um, and therefore it makes sense when you have audio, when you have a headset. But it doesn't make sense when you have a phone to phone. In order to display to you how I transfer an image between two phones that are already paired, I have taken in another phone. It's an old Nokia phone. It doesn't have a fancy Bluetooth such as this one. I guess this is a Bluetooth two point something and this is a Bluetooth one point something. So here's my phone. It says pair with this device. I get this Bluetooth pairing request. Now what's the big mistake here? It's actually only a detail because there's many good things about this question here. It tells me clearly what it does up here. It's a Bluetooth pairing request. It tells me clearly that I should type in a pin it mentions the name of the device that I'm pairing with and everything. And it also says try 0000 or 1234. But why doesn't it call up my keyboard straight away? Why is it that I need to press here in order to do this? Come on. But I press, let's say, 1234. I press OK. I get a question over here if I wish to pair. I accept. I enter the passcode 1234. Four, and I press OK. Now it's paired. So if I go into pictures and if I wish to send this picture then it does exactly what it should do. Do we wish to receive data? Yes I do. And as you can see over here it's receiving. I get this Bluetooth is sent and I get the image received over here and now I can see it. So that's easy. And that's what it should be. It shouldn't be this stupid pairing thing. Let's try to do it the other way around. So here's an image. So I'm not paired now or anything. So I have my picture. I send it over Bluetooth. I search for devices. I find the Xperia Arc. I select it. It's connecting. It's sending the file. And there's no pairing here. I deleted the pairing. And now it's sending the file. This is pretty slow, it's a pretty big file and everything, so I'm not going to wait for the rest of it. But when I'm done it'll say one file is sent and over here it'll say one file is received. This is how easy it should be made. You shouldn't have this stupid pairing crap. You shouldn't have anything about contacts that you wish to transfer or anything. Just send the bloody picture from one phone to the other phone. That's what the user asks for. Nothing more. Do a Bluetooth implementation that is tailored to the user's needs and not a Bluetooth implementation that shows technical stuff like pairings in use cases where it's not necessary. 
the Bluetooth implementation on this Sony Ericsson phone for sending images is very non-usable. The Bluetooth implementation for pairing a headset is very clever.